Hi, hello, this is Jarelle. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, before I start talking about Korean makeup, as you can see from the title, I'd like to share with you my uh, favorite accessories. I've got these little earrings and this brooch from uh, one of my very good uh, creative friend, uh, Under Angel's uh, Wing uh, from um, Instagram. You can follow her and you can actually get stuff ordered um, bespoke from her anyways uh, let's start um, talking about a Korean makeup I've been purchasing last couple of months and I do like uh, quite a few of products uh, so I will show you quickly what I have uh, I've been purchasing them um, from recommendation uh, from other uh, YouTube bloggers and I'm actually liking the product so far. So, uh, one of the um, not budget things I have, and um, that was bought um, by me uh, just purely because I saw a lot of uh, bloggers talking about it, um, American, UK bloggers and Russian bloggers. So, uh, this uh, brand, the Borean, um, does very nice um, makeup and uh, cosmetics. And I've got the CC cream that is absolutely white inside, but when you put it on the skin, it changes the color, kind of making it uh, nice and glowy and uh, tan. This glow cream is amazing base uh, for your makeup and that's a little uh, scrub um, mask that I've used a couple of times. I really like it and the, the smell of the brand is just amazing. It's a little bit pricey. I bought it from the original website, uh, arborian.com and it's a Korean French brand. Uh, but I love it. I love it and I wish I could buy more of it uh, because they've got actually nice stuff. So we'll start talking um, about the budget stuff I have um, from different websites. So one of these um, uh, nice creams I've got uh, is uh, from um, Banilaco. It's one of the uh, Korean brands. It's quite famous. I've used quite a lot of it. Um, and um, it removes the makeup uh, quite nicely, um, including mascara, eyeliners, and all sorts. But you have to use um, a, a liquid um, foam wash uh, to uh, get rid of the leftovers of the, of the balm. It's really nice. I can recommend it. Uh, will I buy it again? I'm not sure because there are quite a few uh, different balms uh, out there and I'd like to try them all. So I use it with, uh, with this um, um, daily cleanser and it is quite nice. Uh, I uh, like to use them together. Uh, it doesn't dry the skin and it generally feels really good. Uh, this uh, brand, uh, Cosarex, is very uh, famous and uh, majority of the stuff they've got is amazing. I've got another one of the same brand that I use sometimes in the morning. And uh, it's good. I still haven't um, decided whether I like it a lot, but um, I, I have been using this stuff for a couple of months now and uh, it does make me happy. Uh, I must say that I have quite a few um, foam cleansers and the problem is my skin is not um, liking the tea tree. So I'm not sure whether it is the tea tree problem or the uh, cleanser itself. Uh, and these two I've used, um, I didn't get a good result from them. Uh, um, I will give it a try again, uh, maybe when, when my other one finish. But I'm not too keen about using them at the moment and it did dry my skin a lot out. I use this toner water. Uh, as soon as I clean my face, I put a little bit of this to make it nice and fresh. And uh, after I have done that, I usually use um, the moisturizer that I am not really liking, I'm afraid. Uh, it's from Etude House. It's a very um, well-known brand, but unfortunately it didn't work for me it doesn't moisturize anything so um i bought uh not the korean um stuff uh for uh for overnight treatments and i will share with you this a little bit later but yeah i cannot recommend that uh another well-known thing that i haven't used but I, i've got another 
another of these uh, uh, gels, uh, another brand, uh, and they are amazing. So use, uh, usually people use them for uh, dry skin because it's aloe vera gel and uh, just soothe and moisturize a little bit the, the skin. And I, I've heard a lot about it and I'm sure it's really good. That's why I'm not opening it yet because I've got some other ones to uh, play with. Another great thing is the uh, skin food um, sugar mask. Um, as you can see, I used it. Uh, it doesn't look really pretty, but um, you can see a lot of reviews on YouTube about it. It's amazing. I love it. The skin feels really, really good after it. So let's go uh, to a little bit of um, cream situation. I've got these two creams. I bought um, because I've um, heard some nice reviews on online. I haven't used them yet. I'm a little bit cautious because my skin um, had a little bit of reaction on Korea, um, Korea makeup and creams. So I just had a little bit of break uh, with them. So but I will use them and I will give you a review on them shortly. So uh, another thing I use for cleaning my skin is this rice water. I put it on a, uh, on a little a cotton pad and just uh, clean my face and it works really good uh, but it did um, I did use it when my skin was a little bit dry so I'm not sure whether it dries it a little more or it's good I'm not too sure but I will be using it again to try so now we are going to the actual makeup that I love so lovely thing cushion from uh, beauty people look at that beautiful thing it's quite nice it has got a little a little um, sponge here and it's a nice and um, lovely it's uh, one of the moisturizing uh, cushions for actually um, uh, oily skin and I love it uh, I'm using it today I'm wearing it today and I've decided to make my face I'll show you a glowy nice and really really fresh uh, it has got nice coverage and uh, I'm happy with it uh, before I use the cushion I use this um, base it's a um, blurring blurring um, makeup base uh, with SPF and it's quite nice um, I've been using it for quite a while and it smells amazing Another thing I use as a base is um, BB cream from Misha is well known. Uh, I love it a bit. Um, I've got it in two shades, 21 and 23, I believe. Yes, and unfortunately, none of it is good for me right now because I'm a little bit tan. So you can see my face is a little bit lighter than my neck. And um, I will be using it later on in the year, uh, maybe in winter but um, it's still a, a nice thing and it smells lovely it um, costs about eight pounds seven pounds and it's lovely uh, for the eyes I use this primer again uh, very well known from Etude House and it is um, a really good base very light very watery and not um, making it uh, look um, harsh on the eye and the eye stick really nice on it ah one of my favorite things i'm just going through the box without any following any orders one of my favorite things is these blushes they are not just beautiful they are amazing it's kind of light pink with a little bit of shimmer i've been using it quite a while and it's one of my favorites blushes and I would recommend buying it. Um, I buy my makeup from jolts.com, from um, yesstyle.com, um, herbal, I herb, sorry, <laughs> I herb and a few others, but um, uh, you can you can find the, the website that is good for you because uh, there are quite a few different different websites there. Another um, uh, blushes I bought uh, just for the sake of bronzing rather than uh, blushing and it works really well. It's a nice warm kind of brown um, shade and I do like the packaging. I mean, the packaging in Korean makeup is 
absolutely amazing look at that that is um powder that i haven't been using yet uh, and i think i will give it uh, to one of my friends to use but um it is quite matte and it's highly recommended as well another powder i have quite actually i've got um i've got two powders uh loose powders to set my makeup and it's this peach powder from skin food it smells it smells like peaches and another one is no sebum uh, from Innisfree mineral powder uh, it's uh, a little bit smaller they are in price pretty similar they are just loose transparent powders and they're amazing and they're like four five pounds so grab it while you can um, concealer I'm not too happy about it because it does make my lines a little bit dry even though it's well um, well recommended concealer I cannot recommend it uh, it just doesn't work for me but uh, for some other people it works perfectly mascara I bought this uh, mascara from uh, Misha um, I only bought it because I was looking for some mascara but the one I really wanted was called the curl and uh, I, sh um, I saw the reviews it was really nice this one is quite nice I must say it's it making my lashes very uh, if you can see very long very uh, defined but um, it doesn't give me the the volume I like because I like very fluffy very thick lashes and that is a really natural feel i know that uh korean makeup is all about natural stuff and um that's uh what they kind of advertise a uh, natural glowy skin and um and other stuff uh that makes you feel young and beautiful so i've got here a few more bits so i've got this um bronzer and highlighter it's very basic uh, nothing special about it but it looks it looks good um, I'm, I'm using it uh, sometimes i've got quite a few highlighters and bronzers so uh, that's not um uh, a bad one um this eyeshadow i only bought one eyeshadow from uh from uh, korean uh shop and this is face shop uh, the problem with korean uh shadows they are a little bit light they're not really pigmented they're very silky very smooth uh, but they don't have crazy colors so they're all about natural makeup and natural looks um the eyeliner for like a pencil eyeliner really good uh lioli nice one i've used it today uh, only on the bottom of my eye but um it is quite nice it's creamy it's uh, it stays uh, and it's not